a link down below in the description box so that you can read this on your own and to credit the original article uploader. It's going to be targeted on next gen as high up as 4K 60 FPS with HDR, but if ray tracing is enabled, it'll drop down to 45 frames per second and it'll go as low as 900p 30 FPS if you're playing on a base Xbox One or a PlayStation 4. So there you have it. That's pretty much it. These are the expected performance statistics across all consoles. There is no information on the PC as far as I know, hence why it's titled Console Expected Performance. And I think this is pretty cool. Me, myself, when I play it, you know, even though I've got a PS5, because we've got limited room for our internal SSD, I don't know if I'm going to bother playing the PS5 version of the game or if I'm just going to stick with the PS4 Pro version of the game. I don't have an HDR, you know, 4K TV anyways. So it's like, what's the point, right? So I'm kind of tempted to just play the PlayStation 4 Pro because I can only see it 1080p anyways. And there you have it. Apart from that, I don't know if like draw distances and all that kind of stuff are going to be better though on the PS5. Really hard to say. Not only that, if I'm on a 1080p TV, it's debatable as to whether or not the 4K, even though I have a 1080p panel, if it would still look a tad better, right? I don't know how that works, but anyhow, there's all the stats right there. Let me know down below, actually, what you think, in your opinion, from what you know. If I have a PS5, but I only have a 1080p non-HDR TV, should I bother wasting the very little resources I have on my internal SSD? Or not? I'm, I'm leaning towards the PS4 version of the game until I upgrade my TV which, to be honest with you, is probably not going to be for a number of years. I've had this TV for about five years. It's an LG 43-inch TV, 1080p, and it's just a beautiful panel. The backlighting is perfect on it. I just absolutely love my TV. I really, really do. So, anyways, if you liked the video, go ahead, give it a thumbs up. It greatly helps support the channel with the algorithm and making me more relevant in the search results. And if you didn't like the video, go ahead, give it a thumbs down. And I'll make sure that uh, when you turn on your beloved Series X or PS5, all your games run at 900p 30 FPS. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, I mean, naturally, that would be great. But if not, thanks for stopping by anyways. Take care. Maybe I'll see some of you in the next video. Bye for now.